Hello and welcome back to 16 Years in Alkin 3. Out for a bit of an early morning walk this morning. And I hope you're okay with heights this morning because we are at the top, or nearly at the top, of Kungaring Castle. Kungaring, yeah, I did get them right. My word. And if you notice, uh, William's actually parked just over there. But I did walk into town to go to a cafe and found out it's shut Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So. It's like I'm going into the uh, village shop for a pasty or something like that. But by word, you know, usually it costs about £4.80 to get in here, but there's nobody at the ticket booth. And uh, I haven't got any change to give uh, a cash donation. So I thought, do you know what? I'll take it in. And it's quite a, it's a well-standing Norman Castle, to be honest. Yes, I know there is better standing Norman, uh, Norman castles, but, you know, for a 12th century castle, it's doing well. And you've got these wicker figures. You know, that are down there. And that's a real, uh, well, it's a metal sword. I don't know if it's real or sharp or anything. But you can imagine the grandeur of this place. Look at the size of it. And this is just one part of it, you know. If we come in through here, be careful on the steps. If you not want to be falling over first thing in the morning. Down into the dark chasm way. And up this way. Across, I think, what is a modern uh, bridge that goes across here. But yeah. You can see where all the uh, wooden struts would have went in. You know, and this would have been a, a well defended castle, that's for sure. I do love this little uh, cross between the towers. Here we are on the cross between the towers. You know, you only need the wall to be a bit higher, which I can imagine it used to be a bit higher. And you've got that, um, get myself out of the sun, you've got that scene uh, of uh, the Monty Python search for the, no, yeah, search for Holy Grail. Yeah, I do believe it's that. Then you've got the French soldiers, uh, soldiers standing on top of the wall, you know. In there. Ah, you stinky English plunkers! <laughs> if you're wondering why my French accent's better than everything else, you can know how close in England not I live to France. But yeah, this is what I was saying. There's a nice manor house over there as well. You know, about how well defended it would have been. You've got lovely picnic, uh, picnic areas for the kids and everything. And you've still got more and more ground. I've been around a fair few, oh, the King and Queen Wicker people over there. You know, and I've been through quite a few uh, old uh, castles in my time, but this one, I must admit, is a bigger one. Quite a bigger one. And even the forestry walk along the river on the way up here is absolutely stunning. You know, absolutely still. Birds song everywhere. You can imagine what it's like in the uh, spring and summer when all of it blooms, blooms out. And you've got foliage on all the trees, you've got all the flowers growing and we'll get them one in that in. But this is what I was saying about it being well defended because all of this is a gorge is the river that I was taking photos of yesterday uh, yesterday and then you can just see right up far off into the distance. There's not a lot messing it up to be truthfully honest. Right who wants to feel sick now because I've got to go down the twenty stairs. Last time I video doing something like this I was in Norfolk. Oh no it's not that twenty actually. Oh it makes a change. Right, we get down to the bottom. God, if you're tall, you don't fancy doing this. It's not as tidy as I thought, actually. This is one of the uh, towers from above. Absolutely amazing. And I do love when you go around all these historic buildings all over the British Isles, is, you know, seeing the difference in masonry. Oh, it's just downstairs courtyard. I feel like I'm in homes under the hammer there. Uh, the difference in, you know, Rochester and uh, the masonry which, of what they do. Just absolutely fabulous. All right. Now even this, I think this drawbridge, it would have been a drawbridge, but it's modern now, would have been quite something to overcome. Yeah, you definitely weren't getting past this uh, in a hurry. That's for sure. Right, let's go and take a walk down by the river, shall we? I filled all my water bottles up yesterday, but you've got a water tap. You know, you've got the uh, toilets, but you've also got toilets down by the car park, so, you know. King Garin, uh, King Garin is a beautiful place. As I said yesterday, that park up is 10 out of 10. I have never known something so quiet. Even when I woke up this morning, it was as still as anything, you know. Even, oh, no, no, I've got to go that way. You know, look at these lovely houses, individual coloured. Uh, flower baskets out front but yeah even when I went out to go to the toilet this morning 
I can even feel the vibe from the birds of like, you sure, mate? It's a bit early. Come on, mate. It's a bit early. Keep it down. <laughs> it was brilliant. Along with my friend, Mr. Robin, ended up putting him a load of uh, peanuts uh, on the uh, wing mirror. And he kept back and coming back to say hello. He looked like he had a happy face. Oh, gosh. I have been on this journey too long if I'm starting to talk friend friendships with a Robin. Even though I really love the picture of him. I hope I'm going the right way. I do believe I go that way. No, that's the shop I want to go. Yeah, I definitely believe it was this way. I hope. That's really shot. My memory is terrible these days. Oh, I do believe this is it. No, it's not. <laughs> I've gone the wrong way. Oh, well, it just means I go to the village shop first before I head down the hill to William. Didn't make me jump too much. Big ass doggy. Right, well, I'll leave you at that and then I might do another video when I'm down at the riverside. For all intensive purposes, like I always say. Take it easy. Keep adventuring. Love you, bye.